Next test is the voltage with stand test. Of course, this voltage with stand test does not apply at the test between primary and secondary side, because there we would need 15,000, 30,000, I don't know how many kilovolts. But uh, it is absolutely important uh, and mandatory to perform the test of the isolation between the secondary side of the current transformer and the ground. Okay? You have many cables sighted uh, from the transformer to the uh, relays and everything, and these cables have to be isolated. Well, actually, one pole of the current transformer will be connected to ground, and that uh, pole, of course, has to be removed prior to performing this test. Uh, this is a, a, a lab situation, so I don't have uh, uh, the actual situation for the current transformer, so I will just uh, simulate it. First of all, on the primary side, uh, on the secondary side, uh, I short circuit uh, the, um, the winding uh, because you have to apply the same voltage to both ends. Next, uh, I will simulate that this lab, for instance, here, is the ground, and actually it is the ground. So, between these and the ground here, there must be an isolation. How to perform the test? I need uh, to use uh, the high voltage generator and the connection to the high voltage generator is performed by these uh, two high voltage cables. Uh, these are laboratory cables, as uh, are the other ones. Uh, so, actually, in your uh, case, uh, you will receive a much longer cables. So I connect one of them here, and for instance, this one is uh, the no, sorry, this is the black. So this is this black, eh? and the other one, that is there, for instance, I connect it uh, to the secondary of the transformer, the current transformer. Okay. Before continuing with this test that involves a uh, degeneration of a 9 voltage, uh, I wish to tell you something about the safety that we have inside the, our cassette. Uh, this is a very, very coarse schematic of the cassette. We have here the power supply is in connection. Uh, we have triax to open or close the circuit uh, going to this variac. But the first uh, other thing that we have uh, is an electromechanical circuit breaker. When you press the red button, the, the safety, the emergency button in front of the set, you open the circuit breaker, irregardless to anything that the, the microprocessor is doing. So there is no possibility of uh, this security being not operational if uh, there is a, a microprocessor jam. The next uh, is that, uh, again, we have a transformer inside uh, with many turns on the secondary side. And uh, these outputs here, of course, when I adjust the variac, are there together with the output here, and this is the high voltage output. But uh, we have a second uh, item inside. Uh, it is uh, the high voltage relay. This high voltage relay stays closed only when you turn the key and keep the start button pressed. Otherwise it is immediately opened and this is the safety that we have. So when you are generating voltage, the current here or voltage, here on the sockets you have nothing. Okay? When you are generating voltage, you also have current if there is something connected, so don't have anything else connected. As soon as you remove the, your finger from the start button, the output is removed. Now, this is the selection. I enter it. Uh, I did not tell you about uh, the fact that uh, on uh, the ON uh, button there is also this HV and these two red lights. The HV is for high voltage of course, uh, and these two red lights turn on when we are generating high voltage. 
So, now uh, what uh, uh, to say? Uh, the test values that you can input are the minimum test value, zero, but also the maximum voltage that you want to apply. If you don't want to go beyond 1000 volts, you can program it. And also, this is important, this is the maximum leakage current during the, your test. Last, uh, the maximum test duration, it is uh, uh, foreseen 60 seconds. Uh, if uh, uh, there is no problem during 60 seconds, then uh, the um, item is correctly isolated. Okay? So now, uh, what I, if I don't have to change, I can just press on. As soon as I do, I have a message. Turn on the ice voltage key and keep the button pressed. Lo vedi la chiave? This is the key. As soon as I turn it on, the lights are flashing eh? and I do have some voltage applied, very small of course voltage. Now I can raise the voltage to the value that I want. For instance, for this test I go to 1000 volts. Okay. During this test, uh, I can see here the isolation take care impedance uh, in this case uh, eh, because I am applying an AC voltage. Okay? You see, uh, the uh, item is uh, withstanding uh, the test. Uh, I have this uh, elapsed time uh, that is uh, going on. As soon as I go to 60 seconds, uh, the test will be finished will be terminated. Okay? You see? And that's it. Now I can go to save. And this is it. Of course you can do the test up to 2000 or 3000 watts as you like.